this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Spencer Reed from IDW Games looking at Atari Centipede. Yep. Yes, uh, forthcoming game. You debuted with some copies here at Gen Con. It's just about 100, yeah. Yes, uh, and it's the first of three games right. that you have coming out. Right. So with the Atari license on here. Um, so we got some fancy wooden bits. Yep. Represents all the things we expect to see in the, in the centipede, centipede game. Right, exactly. So the game is asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. uh, one player is going to play. It's a two or four player game. Okay. Um, the game plays with one person taking the role of the centipede and one person taking the role of the gnome. Okay. Uh, the centipede is driven by a deck of cards mm -hmm. that have special abilities, and the gnome is driven by a six uh, custom d6 that you roll, and then you uh, do what they say, but once per turn you only select one. So this is kind of allocating your next five turns. Okay. So it's dice rolling and allocating. Uh, when you get down to one die left, you re-roll all six so that you're not stuck with an option that you don't want. Right. right? Uh, so at the beginning of the game, the gnome will take their turn. They will uh, either shoot, well, and I'll explain what the dice do. Uh, the die, uh, if there's a star, the die uh, means shoot, and then the number means how much you move. And then if there's a square, that means you refresh one of these cards. Okay. So on this first turn, we don't need to refresh a card, and all we really need to do is start clearing the board space because we know that this, we want to be able to shoot the centipede eventually. And also, if the centipede ever bumps into an, uh, a mushroom, he's going to hit it and immediately drop down and turn around. Yes. And so as he hits more mushrooms, he's going to drop down, turn around, and he's going to eat whatever is below him. So mushrooms being in the way of the centipede are actually really bad for us because it's pushing the centipede down towards us faster. Okay. So we might want to clear some mushrooms off. Uh, so we would select a die. Let's say we might select move two, shoot one because it's not a super great die and it's early in the game. So okay. we'll go one, two, and you can even stand up and he'll shoot. And you just track up and take off the first thing on the board and put it return back in the resource pile. Okay. Then the centipede will go. The centipede moves based on this, its length. It's longer, it's slower, right? Okay. So in this case, he's only gonna move one and he's just gonna scoot one space over like that, perfect. Uh, if we were to get to the point where, let's say I moved here and I shot a bunch of mushrooms off like this, do, 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 do. When you shoot this part, it comes off. This is gonna flip, right? That's right. I, I, it's like you've seen it before. It's like I've played the game. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the mushroom will spawn there. Now these guys are two different centipedes and they have different movement speeds now. Right. Uh, a two guy is going to move a speed of three and a three guy is going to move a speed of three as well, actually. So they have the same movement speed because of the size, but if he got down to one, he gets to move four. And there's a little reference card for you that because we don't expect you to remember these numbers off the top of your head. Right. Uh, but the problem is, is that now that they're two, they're moving faster and they're able to bounce around. Centipede doesn't just simply move on its turn, though. Uh, it can play these cards like a mushroom. This one lets him spawn or remove a mushroom anywhere on the board. Okay. So he could throw a mushroom in front of him. He wouldn't really be able to be do this actually in a real game because you're not allowed to spawn one right in front of yourself. But he could put one somewhere on the board that he could move into eventually and bounce down faster. Right. He could also say like, oh, I'm down to one piece here. I need to make sure I have a mushroom, extra security, that you're not going to shoot me. Again, Similar to many famous Atari games of the past, it's not really about where they are during the turn, it's about where they're gonna be. Especially yes. since you've got pre-allocated movement as the gnome. Okay. Um, the, he can also do things like spawn the spider, the spider spawns in any empty square on the side of the board, let's say he spawns here, and he moves like a bishop. He moves as much as he wants in a diagonal or straight down. If he ever gets here and the gnome, I should say here actually, and the gnome stops under him without mm -hmm. being able to kill him, the gnome dies. Uh, the other thing is uh, the flea can be spawned up at the side of the board, and the flea works like a knight with no turn. So okay. he jumps down two, one, two, and he eats whatever he lands on, no matter what, including the centipede. So if he ever lands on the centipede, he'll eat a part of the centipede. Which could be beneficial. Can be yes. beneficial to the centipede. Right. So centipede players who get very good at the game have learned like when to use these characters, uh, these bugs, to help speed them up. And there's the, the We also have a uh, spawn a... It's baby centipede, so baby centipede is just one. Whenever you have a centipede piece off the board, you can play that to spawn one. When they bump into each other, they treat it just like bumping into a mushroom. Right. One guy will go, drop down, turn around, and the other guy will go. So he would maybe move here, drop down, they're gonna bump into each other again, and they're gonna bounce down the board, right? Mm -hmm. That's why having multiple little guys is a problem. To help this, the gnome out with this problem, you have uh, these kind of burnable cards. Mm -hmm. You use it once and you flip it. This one adds an extra move. A, shot. An extra shot. This one removes a mushroom from the board. This one lets you select one die and re-roll it. If you okay. don't like the result. Okay. 
The Nomas has momentum, which is to say if he has a four, he has to move four in one direction completely. He can't go one, two, three, four. He goes one, two, three, four. And if he's ever like here and all he has is a four to choose from, he moves the two in the direction he wants to go and stops. Okay. So you can use some of the board to control your movement, but right. you can't go back and forth. Okay. Um, that's the two player mode. Plays in about 30 minutes and it's highly strategic because it's asymmetrical and there's a lot of kind of pre, almost pre-programming because of the allocation that you've got to think into about where's it going to be in the next few turns if I do this. Okay. The four player mode adds another centipede, it would be a blue centipede, and another gnome, it would be a green one. We work as teams. And I'm trying to get my blue centipede to your side. You're trying to get your green centipede to my side. When okay. we do that, one of us is one. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. A review of Atari centipedes. Ooh, quick run through. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a pro at this. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thank you.